Saying that I've been frustrated in the past little while would be a gross understatement. You know, I've been making videos long enough to kind of have a rough idea of what to expect in the comment section for any given video I publish. It's often very predictable. Though I would lie if I said that I haven't gotten a bit tired of reading comments recently. I still do it because I get very valuable feedback and information which can fuel projects in the future. But it's been getting frustrating to deal with people who only pick the specific information out of a video that they want to hear and then try to use it against you as if you haven't said anything else. Like for example, I can preface a video with me saying that I've been feeling pretty okay about my own competitive matches recently and even have made a video not too long ago speaking in favor of it. But when I decide to talk about the collective frustration of a large part of our community, people try to make it look like I only talk negatively about the game. Today I want to talk a bit more off the cuff, a bit less of the persona I have represent me on YouTube, a bit less of an urge to push my own agenda and a bit more of the guy who sits behind the screen editing these videos. I've been seeing a lot of frustration in the community from both the creator side but also from players. Players and YouTubers quitting competitive play alike, reporting on community complaints and everyone desperately trying to provide feedback for possible solutions because they are growing hopeless that the devs even care about the competitive game mode to begin with. Complaining about Overwatch has become a bit of a trend to say the least. Naturally for many of you who are subscribed for a while, discussing complaints and complaining myself is something I've been doing forever and it's been exacerbated by the current state of the game and subsequently the mood of the community. What's concerning is when creators who previously have not done much of that at all suddenly do it, and that a lot. It indicates that something is seriously wrong with the game, but it also means that it becomes a more popular, mainstream thing to do, meaning that a lot gets exaggerated into the heavens and beyond. Gauging the current state of the game has been incredibly difficult for me as a creator. I feel validated in my frustration by the sheer amount of complaints I see on Reddit and the forums, as well as seeing other fellow YouTubers express their dislikes in the same fashion. But it also breeds this mindset of negativity out of nothing. It's not like it's unjustified. After all, having the devs not react to us at all can make us feel like things are getting worse even when objectively they might just be stagnant. Though to be fair, stagnation is equivalent to things getting worse in many people's eyes anyway. You see, when complaints are piling up the way they do, then that is often because there is a lot to feel strongly about in the game. Sure, you could be saying that discussing these things to death is pointless and only further spreads negativity, but ignore Ignoring them is not optimal either. If we just keep quiet, then nothing will change anyway. And we don't complain for complaining's sake. Or at least I like to give people the benefit of the doubt that they don't just do it because it's a trendy thing to do currently. I like to imagine that most people who do are very invested in the game. And I keep saying that over and over again. We complain because we love the game and we want it to get better. In fact, we want it to be the best it can be. I've had someone ask me what I actually love about Overwatch, so much that I still make videos every other day when I seem so fed up with it. Reality is, there is a lot to love about Overwatch, and currently I don't feel very strongly about it for my own sake, but more for others. A few months back I've been sick and tired of playing this game, I absolutely have. I've been grinding the game out of my skull for a long time before realizing that I can't have my whole life revolve around it. I think what helped me enjoy it far more right now is the fact that I don't play it as much as I used to. As some reviewers said at launch, Overwatch is best enjoyed in short bursts. It's then that you are more oblivious to the imbalances in the game, which allows you to enjoy it more for the things it does really well. But I also think that the biggest strong points of Overwatch are its biggest weakness. It feels like the developers are more concerned with the game feeling right rather than playing right. And that has been a trend in Blizzard games for a while. They build incredibly interesting worlds that players can get invested in, but then ruin it with the intricacies. Imbalanced PvP, poorly written explanations from the lower horribly stereotyped characters and the list goes on and on. But none of these things stop me from loving Overwatch for what it does really well, creating a world that I am interested in, providing characters that give me reason to love and hate them but feeling strongly about them either way. They give us a wonderfully colorful playground with so many characters that feel so different from each other that was it not for all the problems the game currently has could easily have me play for hours on end. It honestly feels like the less you are invested in the game the more you can enjoy it and that's just incredibly sad. Because we want to love the game, we want it to be our main time sick and we want to have these amazing matches that keep having us come back. It just sucks to feel like the devs don't care to give us that core competitive experience that we long for. Which in the face of the Overwatch League makes it ever the more ridiculous. You know I want to sit down for 5 hours at a time and just play competitive, I really do. At heart I've always been a competitive player. But I've seen just how far that got me. I ended up absolutely hating the game. It sends me knowing 
showing that in this case, less is more, but that's just how it is. When I play 2 to 5 hours of competitive per week, I make sure I keep the frustrating experiences at a minimum, and that in turn helps me feeling more positively about the game. I spent my time playing Battlefield 1, Rainbow Six Siege, The Witcher, Heroes of the Storm and other games in my off time while playing Overwatch comp strictly on stream with the occasional few hours of mystery heroes in my own spare time. You know, when a dev team turns around to change Roadhog and nerf his one-shot ability with the explanation that players don't like one-shot abilities to then implement Doomfist whose sole purpose is one-shotting players, the whole idea of the game feeling right rather than playing right becomes annoying to deal with. When a dev team turns around to say that smurf accounts are not a problem and you deal with another sub-level 100 guy that throws your match because he does not want you to gain elo, you get angry. And when a dev team is working their ass off to push a professional league out of the gate while their own competitive game mode is an absolute meme, then I think you can start to understand where all that frustration in the player base is coming from. Bottom line is that it's currently a really bad time to be an invested competitive player in Overwatch. So I hope that our lord and savior Jeff Kaplan has some something big in store for us to save the day. But this is me done for the days I talk about the current trend that is complaining about Overwatch and some of my own reasoning for covering the things I do. I'll try to come up with some different topics this month, maybe some trivia or tip videos, because honestly, I'm with you on that one. I'm kinda tired of complaining myself. We reached a point where all we can do is wait for the developers to do something on their end, so let's kill some time until that happens. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to drop me a like on your way out if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, and I hope to see you all next time.